I might get some hate for this, but this is 100% the truth. BBLs attract poor men, broke men, same thing, no different. Because from what I know, a lot of wealthy men like women with natural bodies. And don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with getting a BBL at all. People that I know that would get the BBLs when it comes to men, they seem to only want those females just for the sex. And it has nothing to do with their income level. Shall we start the video number two? Sure. Sure thing. Here we go, man. Video number two, we got a female TikToker claims that BBLs oh, God. attract men with no money. And this is the reason why. I got to I, I need to know. This one. I need to know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's let GA kick it off. It's Fish Jump Podcast. <laughs> oh. I know you like that, don't you? Shout out to Gia. Let's go. But this is 100%. BBLs attract poor men. Same thing. No I believe her. Because from what I know, a lot of wealthy I believe men her. like women really? with natural I'm done bodies. Done. And don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with getting a BBL at all. But I know a lot of women, they'll go into Tijuana and they'll go to different countries to go and get a BBL. Mexico. Because they assume that this will attract money with men mm -hmm. with more money. I'm sorry. That's never the case. It really isn't. And maybe there's at least like two or three of them that are okay with it. And that's like really, really rare if you're really lucky. But for the most part, from what I know, a lot of wealthy men like a lot of natural things. Especially when it comes to like nails or the way that you look on from your face or the way that you're presenting mm. yourself. Because from what I know is a lot of wealthy mm, men I'm say broken. BBLs I don't like BBL. scream loud and crazy or whatever. Like I said, nothing wrong with getting cosme cosmetic I can't speak cosmetic procedures done. <laughs> you like that? Get it together, baby. Yeah. <laughs> T, kick it off, T. Okay. So Tell us. In my me. email, mm -hmm. I think it's all about perception. So I honestly do not think BBLs, even though, I mean, I don't really know anybody because, you know, my circle, we're all, you know, pretty much like the same type of Natural. person. Yes. 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 So people that I know that would get the BBLs when it comes to men, they seem to only want those females just for the sex. And it has nothing to do with their income level like it would be men that i mean they, they're just knocking them off right it would be men that had money it would be men that didn't have money so it's always about okay well you know what what what, what do i want right now what, what can i get from you so i had i don't think it has anything to do with someone's income level so she's just like wrong maybe that's a mm -hmm. cultural thing for her maybe it's the people that she knows but she can't speak for everybody for every man i mean she was speaking for, for white you know she was speaking for men oh, oh cj that's what she was speaking for she said all men that are broke she said all men she said men that are broke and poor that's what she said she was talking about me that hussy yeah you broke <laughs> you broke and poor i'm broke and poor god damn it <laughs> listen I mean, she was right to a certain extent that, again, most wealthy men, like I've been saying on this podcast before, women, we don't care about your lipstick, your eyelashes, your eyebrows. We don't care about none of that. If we, if you beautiful, you beautiful. If you got ass, plus. Mm -hmm. If you don't, not really a big deal. If you got titties, plus. If you don't, not really a big deal. And again, we have to separate commitment from sex mm -hmm. men will have sex with 98 percent of women men with will commit no yeah, yeah, yeah. Com no men will commit to about 12 percent of women we have to agree with that so when it comes to the bbl thing it's like bbls attract poor men it's not that they attract poor men it's just that men who don't have a, a certain type of wealth they don't have a certain type of access to certain women so you're going to uh, when you see those women you think that they're top of the line because you only experience it. Uh, if you in a South Central LA or if you in Kensington part of Philadelphia, when you in the slums, you only seeing a certain type of woman. So that BBL woman, she looks like she's top tier. But if you go into an environment yeah, where I mean, these days with everybody mm -hmm. else getting them, no woman with with okay. BBL is not no top tier. No, I'm just saying when you're in an environment when you don't see top tier women. When you see the BBL women, you think that they're top tier. It's like it's like being in the area and seeing a Dodge Charger. If that's the best car you see, you think that's top tier until you go to Bala Kenwood and people riding around in Lambos, Ferraris and right. you know, Benzes. Then you're mm -hmm. like, Well, damn, 
This is a mid car. So I think it's about environment. If you in yeah, an environment, because again, most of the dudes that got money, they don't care about no woman with no damn BBL. Right. I just think that, you know, it, it attracts them physically. Like, mm -hmm. okay, oh, okay, look at that. Okay, that damn, that look good. You know what? I can tap that. Because that's nine times out of ten what a guy's thinking when they see that. And, and it's according to how you are portraying the BBL. If I go into the to the W downtown and the only thing you got covered is your nipples and your vagina and I can see your BBL, to me it's like you're being thirsty. You want me to see that you got this right. BBL. But if you dressed accordingly and I can't really tell that you got a BBL and you just modest with it, then most guys won't really. But if it's like you could tell the girls that got BBLs and they're it's here, so they're here to. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, you know, you see there. So and they're trying to just like, flaunt it. Legs, <laughs> legs is like it's toothpicks. It's skinny as crap. Or it's, Sitting on top of two fucking soccer balls. Or, or right on, now, man. right now it's what, 20 degrees outside right now? You go to the bar. And most girls got on Uggs and they tights. This girl, and she 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 got on uh, booty shorts. You like girls, twelve degrees outside. Right. Yeah. That's how you know she trying to show that. I mean, BBL. you know, I think there is some validity what to what she's saying. Because I, for me, if I was rich, I would I wouldn't want no. I, I I'm not taking a girl with a BBL to a a, a elegant function. Okay. You know what I mean? I, I'm not because for one, them it's all about image. Unless they you got the classy, unless they got a classy woman. the fifty to one hundred thousand dollar BBL job done where it's almost Actual. not noticeable. Right. Yeah, but when you just look just completely disproportionate. Oh no, nah, man, you ain't coming away with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. You you like a broke nigga, but nah, you ain't coming away. With, get the hell out of here with that. You know how I many toothpicks sitting on two soccer balls? It, it ain't happening again. If you the type of woman you gotta flaunt it, cause I I ain't gonna lie if. If you got a BBL and I can't really like it's not really that noticeable, it goes with and your figure. It, it, I'm cool with it, but it's all about if every time I see you, you you at the gym, you got <laughs> damn near panties oh, yeah. on because you want me to see your BBL. It's like, come, I don't care. It's so like they're attention seeking. You're it. trying too That's hard. It. I'm cool That's off it. of that. That's it, man. Just join podcast, man. We don't like BBL. No. You don't, don't like BBL. You don't nah, like the BBL. DSLs, okay. but nah, not nah. BBL. Nah. BS. <laughs> Right. You know, you you. Have, well, I know you, but see, that you ever try to make love with a girl with a BBL? What, what the hell? It's horrible, what, what the hell man. Not knowing. I'm not saying that you ever tried to, to make love to make a girl with a BBL. Please, yeah, please clear that so up. So that's what he was saying. <laughs> I was saying not you. <laughs> yeah, he was saying you ain't. Did yeah, that because I don't do girls over yeah, here. That's what I'm I saying. Don't do girls. None of that. Okay. You know what? That yeah, might. That yeah, might be you on, don't want all that plastic. That might be on my bucket list before I get oh, into a real okay. relationship. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but listen, man. It, Ladies, if you it, out there, you got a BBL. Let me know. I'm lying. He hunting. He hunting, man. Listen, hit that like button. Leave your comment. Give him something to drink. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you no. gave him something to drink. I'm high off life. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Hey, you know how he is. <laughs> Hit that like button, leave a comment, yeah. and tell us what you think. This your own podcast. I'm about to